Hello, here we are, page five and six of unit circle. Um, number one, find the possible exact values of cosine theta for um, theta satisfying these angles. So for example, sine theta equals a half. That means the opposite over the hypotenuse is one over two, which means that this theta is 30 degrees. Okay, so um, if uh, we're talking 30 degrees, oh, wait a second, and th this, is, this isn't just 30 degrees, right? Because, like, there is one other uh, sine theta uh, between 0 and, and 360 degrees that, um, that is also sine 1 half, and that is this angle here. Okay, so, like, this would be um, 30 degrees from this side of the x-axis, which would be 180 minus 30 degrees, so 150 degrees, okay? So um, 150 degrees or 30 degrees uh, is the theta value. And so what would be the cosine of these? Well, that would be square root of 3 over 2 or negative square root of 3 over 2, right? So we could put plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. Okay. All right. Um, and now the next one, it says sine of theta is equal to negative 1 third. Okay. So um, let's see. Sine of theta negative 1 third, that would look like a triangle like this, right? It would be, oh, I'm sorry, I drew that kind of it would actually be like this, where like 1, the ratio would be 1 to 3, um, and the 1 would be going down because it's negative 1 third, okay? And, uh, and also, the, this angle, too, would also have a sign of negative 1 third. Um, so it would be, um, <clears throat> it would be uh, a triangle in this, uh, direction or this direction now let's see what would be what would be the uh, adjacent side so that we could figure out the cosine here um well let's see using pythagorean's theorem uh let's see we'll square the hypotenuse we'll get nine we'll square uh the opposite we'll get one so that means that uh, this side would be the square root of eight right if this was the square root of eight then that would work out to be um uh, the leg for uh, Pythagorean's theorem. So uh, in this case, the cosine would be um, plus or minus the square root of 8 over 3, okay? Because I would want the adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay? And it could be positive square root of 8 or negative square root of 8 because it could be this side also, right? Okay, uh, what about when sine theta equals zero? When sine theta equals zero, it's that really skinny triangle that we cut out. So if sine theta is zero, that means it's zero over one, the adjacent would be one. And uh, where else is sine theta equals zero? Well, this side too, the triangle that goes out on this side. And so for both, uh, for that, for this side, the cosine is uh, one over one, right? Now, for the other side, it would be cosine negative 1 over 1. So we could say that the cosine of theta could be equal to plus or minus 1. Uh, D, what about when sine of theta equals negative 1? What does that look like? Well, that's also a skinny triangle uh, that kind of points down, okay? And that would be uh, the opposite would be negative 1, and the hypotenuse would be 1. The cosine would be 0, okay? Um, let me think. Is there any other sign which is negative 1? Um, no, I think that is the only angle from 0 to 360 degrees where the sign is negative 1. Um, yeah, so, so then the cosine of this angle would just be 0, right? So the cosine of that angle would be 0. Okay. Number two, find the possible exact values for, of sine theta for when cosine of theta equals 4 fifths. So when cosine of theta equals 4 fifths, that means 
that um, that would be a triangle that looks like that. It's got the ratio is four to five. And then um, uh, let's see, is there any other triangle that? Oh yeah, there's a, there's another triangle which goes down, which would be which would look like that, right? And so what are what is the opposite uh, for each of these triangles? Well. Um, Using Pythagorean's theorem, we know that this leg has to be 3 because uh, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. 9 plus 16 equals 25. And uh, by the way, this is a negative 3. So um, the sine uh, here of this theta would be equal to uh, plus or minus 3 fifths. Okay? Sine is equal to plus or minus three fifths. Okay, and then the next one we have a uh, negative three fourths for the cosine. So that would mean negative three fourths would mean that the adjacent would be negative three, and the uh, hypotenuse would be four. Um, and it could also be it could also be this uh, other triangle which goes down. Okay. And uh, let's see, what would be the uh, values for the opposite here? Um, 3 squared plus what squared equals 4 squared? Uh, that would be uh, square root of 7, I think is what we need. Square root of 7 here. Uh, and that would be a negative square root of 7. You can see that it goes down. And then a positive square root of 7 here. Okay. So uh, the sine value for this would be plus or minus the square root of 7 over 4. Okay, cosine theta equals 1. When does cosine theta equal 1? Um, let's see, it could be this flat triangle here where the adjacent is 1, the hypotenuse is 1. And it could be um, this other triangle uh, here. No, it couldn't. So I think that's the only that's the only uh, triangle from zero to three hundred sixty degrees where um, cosine is one. Um, let's see. So if this is the triangle, then what is the sine? Well, the sine is just zero, right? Because it's a flat triangle. What about when cosine theta equals zero? Well, that happens two times, right? There's like this flat triangle, and then there's the flat triangle that goes underneath. And uh, so this would be 1 and 1, and this would be negative 1 and 1. And so the, uh, the ratio, uh, uh, the sine ratio here would be either uh, plus or minus 1. Okay. Number 3, without using a calculator, find sine theta of cosine theta equals 2 thirds. And uh, theta is between 0 and pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, right? Okay, so um, if uh, cosine theta is 2 thirds, that means that it's a triangle that looks kind of like this. The ratio from the adjacent to the hypotenuse is 2 thirds. What would be the opposite? Uh, well, let's see, this would be 2 squared plus what squared equals is 3 squared. That would be square root of 5, okay? So uh, we would know that um, sine theta would be um, square root of 5 over 2. What about the cosine of theta if we know that the sine theta is negative 3 over 5? So negative 3 over 5 would be, uh, oh, and it says if it's between 3 halves pi or 2 pi, that means an angle between um, 270 and 360 degrees. So that would look kind of like this. Uh, the negative 3 would be here, right? Okay. And so uh, for this angle, what would be the cosine? So the cosine would be uh, whatever the adjacent is. And so this you can see is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So this would be 4. Um, so uh, the cosine here would be equal to 4 divided by 5. Right. All right. Number four. 
after you see example 10. Uh, if the sine of something is equal to one third and the angle is between, you know, this is uh, 90 degrees and this is 180 degrees, find tangent of x exactly. Well, um, let's see, we're talking about a triangle that looks kind of like this, opposite one, uh, hypotenuse is three. What would be uh, this uh, side here? It would be square root of eight, right? Square root of eight. Uh, using Pythagorean's theorem, we know that the adjacent is square root of eight. So the tangent of this angle would be um, the opposite over the adjacent. Uh, what about C? If uh, sine of x is negative 1 over square root of 3 and the angle is between 180 and 270 degrees, find tangent of x exactly. So we're talking about a triangle, uh, let's see, between 180 and 270. Yeah, that would be like that. So there's a triangle like this and the sine would be negative 1 over the hypotenuse square root of 3 would be the ratio. Um, what would be the adjacent leg? Um, let's see, well using um, Pythagorean's theorem we have 1 squared plus something squared equals 3, square root of 3 squared which is 3, so this something would have to be square root of 2, right? So square root of 2 uh, would be the length of this side, okay? And uh, so the tangent of this would be uh, the opposite, negative 1, over the adjacent square root of 2. Okay, moving on to page 6. Um, find the exact values for sine of x and cosine of x given that uh, tangent of x equals 2 thirds and the angle x is between 0 and 90 degrees. Uh, let's see, so um, that means that uh, we're looking at a triangle where the opposite is 2 and the adjacent is 3. Uh, so what would be the sine of this angle? Well, first we need to figure out the length of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse here would be uh, 2 squared and 3 squared, uh, which would be 4 plus 9. Square root of 13 would be the hypotenuse, right, using Pythagorean's theorem. Um, so what would be the sine? The sine would be the opposite over the uh, hypotenuse. And the cosine would be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Okay? And uh, let's see, moving on to the next one. Uh, now this time they say they want an uh, angle between 180 and 270. So that would kind of look like this. The opposite would be square root of 5. The hypotenuse is, oops, this is tangent. So it's the opposite over the adjacent. So this would be square root of 5. This would be 3. Uh, now to find the hypotenuse, we would square the square root of 5. And then we'd square the 3. And we'd get 14. And so the, the hypotenuse would be square root of 14. And uh, so if we're looking for the sine of this angle, it would be the opposite square root of 5. And by the way, that's negative square root of 5. Um, and this is negative 3, right? So negative square root of 5 divided by square root of 14 would be the sine. And then um, the cosine would be negative 3 over the square root of 14. Okay. Number 6. Suppose that the tangent of x equals k, where k is a constant, and x is between, let's see, 180 and 270. Write the expressions for sine x and cosine x in terms of k. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, we're talking about an angle that is, you know, basically in this quadrant here. And uh, we know that the uh, tangent is k, so that means we could think of the opposite as being k and the adjacent being 1. So what would be the um, the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse would be 1 squared plus k squared square root. So it would be 1 plus k squared square root. Okay, and then uh, if we want to know uh, an expression for sine x, we could just say, oh, well, it's, um, and by the way, this is negative k and negative 1, right? So that would be um, the opposite, negative k, over the hypotenuse, 1 plus k squared. 
and the cosine would be negative 1 over square root of 1 plus k squared. Okay. Next we have uh, page 203 reading, uh, and it wants to know um, for theta, uh, how could we write uh, these in another uh, way? Well, just to look at it, what does pi minus theta mean? That Well, if theta is like an angle like that, let's say that that's theta, 180 degrees minus theta would be this angle here, um, this angle. So it would it would kind of be like the mirror reflection of the first angle, right? So uh, what about the sign of this compared to the sign of this? Well, the sign of these two things are equal because like this opposite is the same as this opposite. They're both positive also. The hypotenuse is also the same. So the sign of 180 minus theta is actually equal to the sine of theta. Now, cosine of pi minus theta is a little bit different because look, this is a positive number. This is a negative number. So actually, uh, it wouldn't be equal to cosine theta. It would be equal to the negative cosine theta. Finally, um, cosine of 2 pi minus theta. 2 pi minus theta would be, um, would be 360 degrees minus theta, which would be uh, a triangle that kind of is reflected about the x-axis. And um, so that would be equal to, uh, you know, this angle here, which is, um, you know, all the way around to here, okay? And what about this one? If, if we know the cosine of this, of, of this first triangle, what would be the cosine of the other? Well, it's the same, right? Because look, the, op the adjacent is this uh, line here. It's positive. Um, this would also have the same adjacent. The hypotenuse is the same. So the, it's, it's equal to the cosine of theta, okay? So this is just saying that, hey, when you have uh, a reflected triangle like this, uh, you know, over the x-axis, then they have the same cosine. If you have a triangle that's reflected over the y-axis, that's the same sign, okay? All right, find two angles theta on the unit circle uh, between you know, 0 and 180 degrees, such that tangent of theta equals 4. So that would mean the opposite is 4 and the adjacent is, um, is 1. So that would kind of look like this, right? 4 and 1. So one of, the, one of the tangents, one of the thetas looks about like that. The other theta would be pointing kind of down like that. It would be negative 1 and negative 4, because if you have opposite over adjacent negative 1 divided by negative 4, what do you know? That's equal to positive 4 also. So there's there's two thetas. There is a, um, uh, there's a theta that's about, um, and let, we, we'll need to use a calculator for this, because, you know, we don't, we don't know. So I'm going to put in that the tangent uh, is 4, oh, but first I need to do inverse tangent. The inverse tangent of 4, which means, you know, what is the tangent, uh, or what is the uh, angle which has the tangent of 4, and it gives me 1.32. I think I'm in radians mode, because that's usually where we start. Yeah, I'm in radians mode. So um, it gave me the answer in radians. The answer is 1.33. Okay put a C there to show that it's radians. And then um, uh, the other angle here is just um, that plus 180 degrees. So I could say it's uh, plus 3.14, right? And then I would just have um, 4.47 would be the other possible um, answer. Okay? Um, then I go to the next one. Cosine of theta equals 0.83. So let's see, what angle has cosine of theta 0.83? So I would say inverse cosine 0.83. And the angle is going to be 0 0.592. 0 0.592. And if I know that the, um, the cosine is 0.83, that means it's an angle uh, in this uh, first quadrant, right? 
And um, and so what does the what, where's another triangle that has the same cosine? It would be reflected like that. So I could say that I'm going to add um, I'm going to take uh, 360 and then subtract. Um, so I'm going to have 2 pi minus 0.592 to get that. So it would be 3. Point, uh, it would be 6.28. Minus 0.592, something like that. 5.69. Okay, so that's the other angle uh, in radians. Okay, and then finally, uh, C sine of theta equals three fifths. Uh, what are the two angles uh, on the unit circle that have that theta? Um, let's see. So we'll do inverse sine. 3 fifths, and that will give us 0.644. So one of the angles is 0.644 radians. And then the other angle would just be, like if that's one of the angles like that, then this, the other uh, angle from 0 to 360 degrees that has the same sign would be that triangle, which is reflected over there. It's 180 minus um, so that would be pi minus 0 0.694, which would just be equal to, uh, let's see, we, oh, you know there's a pi button here, you do second pi, and then you do subtract second answer, and that will give us 2.4, 2 2.50, okay, okay, uh, now find two angles theta on the unit circle, between 0 and 360 degrees, such that cosine of theta is equal to negative 1 fourth. Um, so let's see, negative uh, 1 fourth cosine. That would look kind of like uh, this, right? It would be negative 1 over 4. Um, it could also be this triangle here that goes below the x-axis. So that would be, um, let's see, we'll find the um, inverse cosine of negative 0.25. Oops. Almost did it. We need to uh, insert a second insert point. Okay, so it's 1.82. So our answer is 1.82. So the theta is equal to 1.82 radians. And then the, uh, the other angle here is the, um, that would be 180, um, oops, what would that be? 360 minus theta, 360 minus theta. So two pi minus 1.82, what did that give us? So two pi is um, 6.28, right? 6.28 minus second answer gives us 4.46. So that's the other angle there, 4.46. Uh, what about uh, two angles theta that um, have sine of theta equals zero? Well, sine of theta equals zero. That's that would be theta equals zero, or that would be theta equals 180 degrees, which in radians would be pi, right? Uh, tangent of theta equals negative 3.1. So let's see, we'll use the calculator to figure that one out. Negative 3.11. Oh, we want second tangent, negative 3.1. And that would give us negative 1.26. So theta is equal to negative 1.26 is one of the angles. And th that one there is, they're talking about uh, this one here. Now this, this uh, let's say that this is negative 3.1 and this is one. Uh, th that doesn't make any sense. This is one here, right? Sorry about that. And then, of course, the other the other uh, triangle that has the same tangent would be this one here, because this would be negative 1 over 
or 3.1 over negative 1, there, there would be the same ratio. So uh, to find this one, it's just 180 degrees difference, right? So I could take negative 1.26 and I could, you know, subtract that, or I could add uh, 3.14 to that. So um, 3.14 plus, uh, I can just add 3.14. And that gives me 1.88. Okay, so so the the other angle is 1.88. So. Um, and and by the way, I, when negative 1.26 is kind of the bad, it's not a good way of uh, saying what this angle is because that negative 1.26 is not between 0 and 2 pi, right? So how do we make this so it's between 0 and 2 pi? We subtract it from 2 pi. So 6.28 minus uh, 1.26 and that will give us 5.02 okay so this is actually equal to 5.02 C okay uh, almost done tangent theta equals negative square root of 5 and if you think these are easy you don't have to do uh, any more but if you do think they're hard then um, then you should do more. Uh, so, so tangent, uh, in this case, they're saying it's negative square root of 5. So that would be uh, this angle, square root of 5, uh, 1. That would be negative square root of 5 over 1. That's one possibility. The other possibility is, is this triangle here, which would be negative 1 here and positive square root of 5. So this would also be one of the angles. So let's see what the calculator gives us for negative square root of 5. Inverse tangent of negative square root of 5. Oops, not that. Let me get out of there. We do arrow. And we get negative 1.15. Now remember, that's not between 0 and 2 pi, so we're going to just subtract that off of 6.28. 6.28 plus, and we say plus because it's already a negative, and we get 5.13 is one of the angles. And the other angle would be 180 degrees from that, so we could subtract off um, pi from that, and that would give us 1.99 would be the other angle. Okay, so this, this angle here would be 1.99, and this would be 5.13. Uh, cosine theta equals negative 1 over square root of 3. Uh, that would be, uh, it would look something like this, right? Negative 1 over square root of 3. And uh, let's see what um, angle they give us here. Second cosine, negative 1 divided by square root of 3 arrow that gives us 2.19 so one of the angles is 2.19 C the other uh, triangle that has a similar cosine to that the same cosine as that is this triangle here it also has a adjacent of negative 1 and so you can see that this one is actually uh, it would be um, how would you get that? It would be a hundred. Uh, it would be 360 degrees minus uh, theta, and that would give you uh, this angle here. So it would be uh, 6.28 minus uh, 2.18. That would be 4.09. Okay, so that's the other angle. Okay. And then last of all, sine theta equals negative square root of 2 over square root of 5. Um, that would look kind of like this. It would be square root of 2 over square root of 5. Negative, right? That's the sign. The other sign that's negative 2 over square root of 5 would be this angle here. Okay. So first of all, let's figure out what radian value that would be. Um, so it would be... Mm, inverse sine of 
um, square root of 2, or negative square root of 2 divided by square root of 5. arrow and it gives us negative 6.84 now remember that is not between 0 and 2 pi so to get it between 0 and 2 pi what we could do is we could add it to 2 pi and so it gives us one of the answers is 5.60 and the other answer we can get by doing um, pi minus 5.60 so we'll do pi which is uh, 3.14 or we could use the pi button and then we subtract off that and we get negative 2.45 and then to uh, change that into a um, the angle between 0 and 2 pi, we just add it to 2 pi, and then we get 3.83. So that's the other angle. Okay, and that's it.